feeling more at home on the planet. We meditate to make our life simpler and more heart-based, more open heart-based. Today in class, in meditation on Saturday, we're starting a series of meditation practices to help us feel more at home on the planet. And from today, we have a new scheduled time for our meditation class here on my YouTube channel for Saturdays, and you can check the description box below. Namaste. I'm Susan, your teacher and guide for Meditation on Saturdays with Susan. I'd like you to be in a comfortable sitting position and preparation for your practice is going to be turn the phones off or uh, the ringtones and the alerts on silent if you are watching on your phone or your tablet and make sure you won't be disturbed. This is the cosmic rhythm of the week because we are attempting to live in harmony with the whole of the cosmic rhythms with our heavenly influences. We're living in harmony with the whole, heaven and earth, and this week uh, Venus, our planet of love, our goddess planet, has gone retrograde in Scorpio and is aspecting Jupiter, our planet of expansion in Scorpio with Pluto, our planet of evolution, just gone direct. And that can mean that small self-love and self-help changes can be extra powerful. But we need to be aware of being overly receptive to toxic influences. This is the reverse, you know, of this influence. Overdoing things and bringing about a healing crisis. So maybe overdoing uh, supplements that you think are going to be detoxing and healing can actually bring about a healing crisis, which take you so long to deal with that it's, it, in the end it's not that beneficial. So small self-love and self-help changes for the power of the healing. Right now, today, Saturday, we're still in last quarter moon phase. So this means our inner needs have been surfacing to initiate the change we need to make for our new cycle, starting with the new moon on Monday, Tuesday. That depends where you live. You know, if you're in the States, it will be Monday. In Europe, it'll be Tuesday, early morning. The new moon intensifies things. Whatever you're feeling, you'll feel it more. And where there's a lack, you'll experience a more acute sense of this absence or lack in your life. And just because the experience of emptiness is part of your life doesn't make it easy, as I know all too well. So, feeling at home on the planet and protecting our energy. These are our practices in our class now today. We'll be making our sadhana, making our practice into our sacred practice. Gentle breath flow with a hand warm-up in preparation for our mudra. When we practice with gentle breath, breath flow, it means focusing our prana or life force energy on our sense organs. So, for example, in our inner ears for balance, in our muscles and our joints, making us more powerfully in harmony with our environment. Think of the image of the yoga person seemingly always to be flowing in movement and awareness, in harmony with surroundings. Meditation practice is the mudra of trust, the faith, hand mudra, asserting and growing our connection with the fabric of the universe. This particular practice I'm teaching in silence for our need of stillness, silence and rest, which grows our mental energy for our soul force.
We'll end with a short uh, Shavasana, deep relaxation, with the reading from the Bhagavad Gita, which is our book of yoga, and the reading is I Am the Pure Water. Bhagavad Gita, our book of yoga, is our moral code, and its central message is All is Well. And we'll wrap up with the yoga sealing breath for those of you who need to carry on with your day and interact with the outside world. If you can go to sleep or relax for the end of your day after final shavasana, then please do so following our final deep relaxation. Do please check the description box below. New this week... Uh, the comments will be open until tomorrow, Sunday. I'm recording this Saturday to go out scheduled today, Saturday. Comments will be opened until tomorrow. And you can check the timing below. For me here in Ireland, that's, uh, that's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'll be available online. Just refreshing you then, that's uh, 5 o'clock Ireland, England. 6 o'clock central european time in the states 9 a.m pacific and 12 noon eastern time so for an hour i'm online to answer questions reply to comments give advice etc and so catch up with us all then if it does help you with your practice and now for our practice and we'll start with making our sadhana our sacred practice, inviting divine energies in and making our intention and dedication. And now the practice of inviting the divine energies in, making our practice into a sadhana. You'll be in a sitting position now, whatever is comfortable for you. Eyes can be open or closed. If they're open, as you know, you gaze down at the nose tip. And we'll start in the traditional way with the hands together at the heart centre in Anjali Mudra. Prayer hands or Namaste hands. And Namaste, I honour the spirit that dwells within you. So Anjali Mudra at the heart centre, pressing the flesh of fingers and palms together, bringing balance for our practice. Balanced consciousness and body-mind. Spiritually and energetically, we're uniting the divine masculine and the divine feminine. The ultimate divine and the mother. On a deep in-breath, fingers point down, arms straighten, big moon arms sweeping up and hands join above your head at the crown chakra. Normal breathing. Visualise divine energy. Experience pure, unconditional love. Visualise a channel within your being. Deep inhale and connect with divine energy, pure unconditional love, your being. Exhale as you bring the hands down to the heart, bringing down divine energy to your energetic channel within your being and silently invite the divine energies within, divine and divine mother, for the purpose of making your practice today into a sadhana, working with the divine, normal breathing, focusing on divinity within And 
And we'll prepare now for this dedication and intention for practice. For your preparation, you'll be in a sitting position. An easy cross-leg posture will do perfectly, with straight spine and head, and you can prop your back up with pillows and cushions if you need to. Lie down if you need that, and it's nice to prop yourself up so that your back is at a 45 degree angle, and this is your posture if you're pregnant. We'll adopt the meditation hand mudra, sitting in your easy position. Open your hands and rest the back of the hands on your knees. Left hand on left knee, right hand on right knee. Inhale and spread the chest. Exhale and gently press down with the back of the hands and straighten the arms, bringing the shoulders low and back. Breathing normally in this position. Touching the tips of the index fingers and thumbs together. So right hand, touch tip of the first index finger to the tip of the thumb. And left hand, touch index finger tip to your thumb. Middle, ring and little fingers of both hands are straight and extended as much as your joints allow. Palms are soft. The palms up open gesture is your receptive nature to prana and consciousness. Focusing on breathing now. Being aware of prana flowing up from the fingertips to the brain on inhalations and flowing back down the hands on exhalations. Lower your gaze either gazing down at the tip of your nose or with closed eyes and looking deep within. So your spine and head are still straight in your posture. Hold your arms out at shoulder level in front of your body, spreading your fingers and stretching them. Making fists with the thumbs inside your fingers. Open out the hands, spread the fingers and stretch and then making fists again, thumbs inside. And again, opening out, spread the fingers, stretch, make fists and one final time now, open and stretch and then making fists again. Arms are still straight. Open the hands. Fingers are straight and pointing away from your body. Move your hands up and down moving from the wrists. So fingers up and fingers down. And again moving from the wrists hands up and hands down. And one final time, up and down from the wrists. Making fists again, fingers tucked in. Moving the hands up and down again from the wrists. So you're making fists and you're making a movement from the wrist with your fisted hands. Up and down from the wrists. Again, hands up, hands down, and one final time, fists up, fists down, moving from the wrists. And arms are still straight. We're rotating from the wrists, rotating the fists from the wrists, 
making circles away from each other, four circles in this direction, and then changing the direction of the circling movement, four circles of the fists moving from the wrists, fists circling towards each other. And then open out the fingers and shake the hands from the wrists down, shaking down to the fingertips. Shaking it all out and then bringing the hands to the prayer position at the heart now. Prayer Mudra or Anjani Mudra. This mudra neutralizes the positive, male, and the negative, female, side of the body. So pressing the palms of the hands together in the prayer position at the heart. This position is always done before starting a yoga class. By pressing the palms of the hands together firmly, we're connecting the two hemispheres of the brain and bringing them into balance. And now we'll prepare for the hand mudra practice. The gesture of faith, or the mudra of unshakable trust. This is practice with the yoga hand mudra in the uh, unshakable trust mudra, or the gesture of faith in the universe. There are times when we doubt ourselves, feeling insecure and thinking we can't handle whatever life is, is giving us. Solid, fundamental trust is the basis for healthy self-confidence, the way we can deal with whatever comes our way. And it is also what we call the thread of the momentum of the universe, part of what holds the fabric of existence together in the yoga way of describing how the universe works. Physical, mental, emotional, all these weaknesses lead to insecurity settling in. It can be insidious, just gets in there and erodes away at our self-confidence. Inner strength is vital to build trust. Our connection with cosmic consciousness is essential to feeling secure and our faith in a benign and loving universe. And we're always just one thought away, one breath away, from closing what seems to be the separation between us, consciousness and existence. Cosmic consciousness, existence, divine and divine mother energies are always there. And we use our mudra practice as a gesture of our unshakable trust in all that is. And this is the practice. We're going to sit in an easy cross-legged position. We're going to be comfortable and be silent. If you need to be propped up, you may be propped up so that your back is straight. You're quiet. You can adopt the gesture of peace hand mudra at this point by placing the left hand palm up in the upturned palm of the right hand. Hands rest gently in the lap. The two hands represent the union of the individual with consciousness. Your eyes can drift closed now or gazing at the nose tip. Find your centre somewhere around your navel. Sense where you are. 
and sense being grounded in your posture. Your breath is moving within you. Be aware of breathing into your center at the solar plexus around the navel center. Energy is moving with your breath. Moving into stillness. Finding a quietness within and finding the stillness Allowing movement to come to rest. Now gently lift with the crown of the head. You can inhale and lift and how is your back? Exhaling, if you feel tension, relax a little, let your body go a little. So as you inhale, gently lift. As you exhale, just relax a little. And now, normal breathing. Just let your spine sway a little from side to side and exaggerate the breaths. Relaxing as you breathe out. Two or three breaths in this way. And then breathing normally again, finding the center again. Relax your jaws. How is your breath now? Breathing in and breathing out from the center. Breath energy is always flowing. Energy moving you into stillness. And focusing your attention between the eyebrows now. Gazing at the nose tip to steady the mind. Let mind be before thought. Let the whole of your form fill with breath essence all the way to the top of your head. And as you exhale, experience a shower of light. And the practice of the gesture of unshakable trust, faith and mudra practice. Taking both hands, palms facing your chest at heart level, interlace or cross the fingers and hold your hands in front of the heart chakra. The thumbs will be pointing up to the sky and your elbows will sink down a little below heart level at the sides of your body. So both hands palms facing your chest at heart level interlaced fingers hold the hands with crossed fingers in front of the heart chakra thumbs are up your elbows sink down slightly at the sides of your body and focusing on your question or your request for inner knowledge you can see think or feel this clearly and you can voice it out loud. The best guidance is always to want what is best for all, bringing us inner strength, unshakable trust. Give thanks now for whatever directions or guidance is given to you. And we'll use this affirmation. You can say this externally, you can say this out loud or quietly within. Repeat as I say the affirmation. 
I am a creation of the greatest power and I am supported and guided by divine love, strength and power at all times. All is well. And we'll repeat that affirmation now. I am a creation of the greatest power. And I am supported and guided by divine love, strength and power at all times. All is well. All is well. All is well. Now, sitting in silent meditation, being still and focusing on your breathing. And take as much time as you like as you sit quietly. going to the sweet spot. This is the end of your class and this is our final deep relaxation. Your preparation is as usual. You can adopt any posture you'd like to be in now for your final Shavasana. Settling your body down. Your mind settling down into your body. Your practice settling into your body-mind. Awareness on your breath. Bring your awareness to long out-breaths flowing down through your lower stomach. Closing your eyes if you are happy with that. Relaxing your body down into your posture. Resting now in the knowledge that all things are interconnected, in the unity of life. And I'll read to you from the Bhagavad Gita. The Song of God, which was written as a discussion on the battlefield in which Lord Krishna holds a philosophical dialogue with Arjuna. An eternal message of spiritual wisdom. And this was written in the year approximately 200 before the Christian era. I am the taste of pure water and the light of sun and moon. I am Om, the sacred word, the sound in silence, and the courage of human beings. 
I am the sweet fragrance in the earth and the radiance in fire. I am the life in all living beings and the striving of those who train their souls. And spending a few minutes now deep, deep in your relaxation. Becoming more aware of your breathing again and listening to your breathing. Every time you breathe in, becoming a little more alert and a little more aware. It will soon be time to come back to full alertness and awareness. But before we do that, remembering this lovely state of deep relaxation and remembering the way back to deep relaxation with yoga is simply by controlling the breath. Every time you breathe in now, taking the breath a little deeper and the in-breath will gradually bring energy back to the body and the mind following relaxation. Taking a couple of deep in-breaths the in-breath bringing energy back. Rolling over onto your right-hand side if you've been lying down or turning slightly to the right if you're sitting. Resting your head in one of your hands. A couple of deep in-breaths bringing energy back. Gently opening your eyes, bringing your gaze and your focus back into the space. Breathing into the centre, bringing energy back. Pushing yourself back to the sitting position if you have been lying down. That's the end of your deep relaxation. For your own practice, please practice as often as you can. The more you relax, the more you can relax. And now for our closing practice of the class, a yoga sealing breath. So we'll close with a sealing breath, the sealing breath with moon arms and a final namaste, meaning I honor the spirit that dwells within you. For the sealing breath, we're in sitting and hands are at the prayer position at the heart, namaste hands. And we're going to take a couple of centering breaths with moon arms to seal energy within. Deep inhale. 
Exhale and point the fingers down to the earth. Straighten the arms. Big inhale, turn palms up and sweep the hands and arms out to the sides of your body and up in a big moon circle until palms meet above the head. Pause. Long slow exhale, hands come down to crown chakra, the forehead, then the throat and the heart. Prayer hands in Anjali Mudra, prayer mudra at the heart. Inhale and pause. Breathing normally. We'll go one more time. Big inhale. Exhale, point the fingers down to the earth, straighten the arms. Big inhale, turn palms up, sweep the hands and arms out to the sides of your body and up in a big moon circle. Palms meet above the head. Pause. Long, slow exhale, hands come down to crown chakra, then the forehead, then the throat and the heart. Prayer hands in Anjali Mudra, inhale and pause. Exhale, fingers point down, hands down to the solar plexus, down to the base chakra. Normal breathing. Out breaths flowing down through the base chakra with each round of the breath. So inhale, exhale, as you breathe out, breath flows down through the base chakra. The breath has sealed your energy in. Straighten your arms. On the next exhale, breath flows down through the lower abdomen, down to the earth, grounding you for the rest of the day. Breathing normally. Prayer hands to the heart. That's the end of our practice. Namaste. Balance is what happens when you know in your heart something is right.